ladies and gentlemen boys and girls first let me welcome all of you especially our young talented artist i'm delighted to be here today to host the fifth session of the earth matters art competition award celebrations and to honor all of you young artists who are winners today we had about 1800 children participate and they out of 1800 children who came from almost 300 different schools in and around pune you are the 50 most creative artists may i have a round of applause for all of you thank you for coming thank you parents to bring them teachers art teachers to bring them over here today our young artists would not have been here today had they not dared to dream and to participate in this contest just to participate itself you need a certain courage and all of you have participated and not only participated but won the prize it's a commendable achievement they dreamt about the future of this earth put crayons and paints to paper and drew with their hearts and imagination my heartiest congratulations to each one of you for your brilliant and excellent efforts we are we are celebrating something along with children and with your innocence and we learn and we take back something which is a creative outburst for ourselves looking at the way you diligently and with passion do your paintings mark shagol once said great art picks up where nature ends and our painting competition was being held in the nature in the middle of the nature in the garden in sambhaji park and that is how we keep art alive because i do believe like earth matters art does matter it is true that the main focus of india house art gallery is to host excellent art shows and promote high art children as you know and you must have heard the future of this society lies in your hands so it's very important you connect with nature you connect with communities and build them with love and compassion since all of you here are winners naturally you become the ambassadors of beauty and spread this beauty in everything that you do and everywhere you go i would like to invite my colleague my co-director of india house art gallery mr rahul sate who's been with me as a shadow for the last 25 years to express the same thoughts in marathi rahul can i have you over here please namaskar uh maza ek pula deshpandyanch ek lihlelo vakya hai mi tyacha pasun suruvat karto aayushyat mala bhavlelo ek gut sangto उपजीविकेसाठी आवश्यक असणाऱ्या विषयाचं शिक्षण जरूर घ्या पोटा पाण्याच्या उद्योग जिद्दीने करा पण एवढ्यावरच थांबू नका साहित्य चित्र संगीत नाट्य शिल्प खेळ यांच्यातल्या एखाद्या तरी कलेशी मैत्री जमवा पोटा पाण्याचा उद्योग तुम्हाला जगवील पण कलेशी जमलेली मैत्री तुम्ही का जगायचं हे सांगून जाईल येथे उपस्थित मान्यवर पालक वर्ग आणि बालकलाकार यांचे मी राहुलसाठी मनापूर्वक स्वागत स्वागत करतो मला सांगण्यात अत्यंत आनंद होतो की आम्ही सुरू केलेली जी अर्थ मॅटर्स चित्रकला स्पर्धा आहे या उपक्रमास पाच वर्ष पूर्ण होत आहेत आणि आज आपण सर्वजण उभरत्या बालकलाकारांना पुरस्कृत करण्यासाठी येथे उपस्थित आहोत सुमारे तीनशे शाळांमधून अठराशे प्रवेश प्राप्त झाले वीस जानेवारी दो दोन हजार एकोणीस रोजी मोठ्या संख्येने पालक व शिक्षक वर्ग यांनी या कलाकारांना या कार्यक्रमास उपस्थित राहण्याचे प्रवृत्त केले आपल्या कल्पनाशक्तीच्या सहाय्याने क्रेयॉन्स व पेंट्सच्या माध्यमाने कागदावर उत्कृष्ट अशी चित्र रेखाटली गेलीत या सर्व सहभागी बालकलाकारांचे मी धन्यवाद करतो professor christopher charles benninger who was born and brought up in america in an academic and artistic family professor benninger is one of india's leading architects perhaps very few architects would have had three distinct approaches to the profession as benninger would have had spanning a career of almost five decades as an institution builder 
a consultant advising the UN and World Bank and many other governments and as a master architect designing many modern institutions fueling development in India. Benninger studied urban planning at MIT and architecture at Harvard U University where he taught later. Now I'm going to introduce you somebody whom you all know, Sri Vinayak Nimanji. Yes, he is a politician. He is a social worker and a well-wisher of all those who wish to do something for society and for our city Pune. He was with almost all the political parties for over the past three decades, the latest being he was the city chief of Sev Sena in 2015. He was the member of the 12th Maharashtra Legislative Assembly from Shivaji Nagar constituency in Pune, which is the same place where we are sitting right now. He was elected as an MLA in 1999 in 2004 and 2009 making him one of the most popular politicians in our city and if I may say truly a friendly politician. Sri Nimanji is the chairman of Sunny World, an extraordinary creation that provides the city with a place that is a holistic adventure sports arena and an entertainment facility. Our next guest of honor has come from very far away. He's a Malaysian but he is in India and I took advantage of him being in India. Described by international dance connoisseurs as one of the finest artists of his generation, Datuk Ramli Ibrahim has set stages ablaze in venerated centers of dance from Konark to Khajuraho to Paris and New York for more than three decades. Ramli's rigorous training in ballet Modern and Indian classical dances reflect not only his diverse technical accomplishments but also his multifaceted approach to the arts. He is acknowledged as a living heritage by the government of Malaysia in 2012. The United Nations has declared him to be a UNESCO living treasure in 2012, an extraordinary recognition that a Malaysian artist has been bestowed upon. The President of India awarded Datuk Ramli the prestigious Sangeet Natak Academy Award in 2011, the first for a Malaysian. The award is recognized as the highest national honor conferred on performing artists, gurus and scholars of the performing arts. It is the most coveted honor artists aspire to get and in the year 2013 he received a Datuk ship from the federal government of Malaysia. Last year he was conferred the prestigious civilian award of India Padma Shri. Take this opportunity to showcase a bit about our uh, activities at the India House Art Gallery. May I have the lights off? Just a light on me and the projector on, please. Now, India House Art Gallery, which is located in Balewadi, uh, in the western part of Pune, for about last 10 years, has been silently promoting art and creative, uh, uh, creative uh, uh, events uh, as a platform uh, to bring in uh, what I would call is that like a certain kind of uh, uh, artistic flavor in the society. Now, this is, this is India House Art Gallery, which is in Balewadi. Uh, if you know where uh, Balewadi High Street, then we have many gallery art shows, openings where people come together. I have also noted that a lot of people come to see the art and also to meet their old friends and then it becomes a kind of a place where they generate ideas. They generate the re-renewing their friendships. So a place like this also becomes uh, a place where we have discourses, we have book releases, we, uh, we have like many film shows, all focused on something to do with creativity and art and architecture. So apart from this, one of the shows which was uh, done, uh, which was done uh, last year of an artist who was from Italy. So we have like, many international artists coming to showcase their work. Uh, then we have a German show which kind of showcased projects of relevant, socially relevant projects uh, in architecture. So we, had, like, we were also part of the Pune Biennale two years. Now, 
we re, about a year back we started uh, doing something called the international film festival which showcases essentially architecture and urbanism friends until now if you noticed like film festivals were focused on a certain kind of a city like pune film festival goa film festival or bombay film festival but we thought like why not we deviate why don't we get a get get a few films and make a film festival focused on a profession so all the films which were shown were directed towards the profession of architecture and urbanism and it was greatly received by the audience in the city so this was held at the national film archives on uh, um, law college road uh, we had a, a full house for two days showcasing about seven films i would really like the children and the parents sitting over here to look forward in the month of july and august ne- this year for the next session of the international film festival they show we, sh- we are showcasing films which allow you to kind of you know go back taking some lessons about what a city building is or what architecture is about that was uh, me and my colleagues who also do this the uh, art competition called the earth matters art competition annually we are uh, fortunate to have successfully completed five years and this is the fifth year that we have completed as you can see there's hordes of children coming it's a beautiful uh, view for us to see the enthusiasm that brings all the children and parents to the garden on sunday morning and uh, you can see that this is how we have the garden prepared for uh, receiving the children and then these children uh, are kind of cordoned off in an area uh, which is dedicated for them to sit down and paint for the next 2 to 3 hours and uh, as you can see that uh, our volunteers my colleagues at office receive the children they greet them they kind of make them comfortably seated in the positions where they need to sit because it's such a large crowd it's always crowd management is something that we are never prepared for as i may like to say uh, to add to the occasion you see we do all this work with no event management we do it except uh, we we do this entire uh, event just with the strength that we have in the office and the volunteers that we have in the office and these are the drawing sheets which are given uh, amongst the children and then we give uh, for there are four categories a b c d children from the age of 5 to 15 participate in various categories and we give question papers this is something which we have uniquely done this i don't think that there is any other art competition at least in the country which has a systematic way of giving a question paper you know so once the question paper comes they start painting and the younger kids usually finish faster but you know there's a certain sense of like you know discipline that you can see and the passion that is expressed uh, the way they express uh, through these colors and for us it's a feast to the eyes and our volunteers are guiding them they you as you know the children want to have want to drink water they want to use the restrooms so these are the volunteers who are who are like attuned to kind of address the needs of the children when their parents are not around so this is how the whole garden looks when when we when the when the painting competition is happening so then we land up you know giving them participation certificates to all this 1800 kids who came it's a it's a very arduous task to write down the names and the telephone numbers in fact and then when the competition is over we call the parents to come and pick up the children so it's kind of systematically organized sometimes it becomes little uncontrollable because pa- the parents are very anxious to receive their children but then we i think we have been able to do a pretty good job on that day then after the all this process gets over in the park there is a jury jury means judges so we had like eminent judges this time also come to kind of help us with the uh, with the process a lot of sorting out happens because we have 1800 sheets so we need to sort sort out and prepare it for the jury so there's one level of jury which we do it internally at our level where we kind of eliminate and then bring it to a ratio of 1 is to uh, 10 so almost like 500 sheets are kept for the jury to go through so it takes a whole day uh, they are categorized differently then this is our jury uh, we have 
we have today with us sanjeev joshi uh, he is in a bit of a tight schedule as a brilliant sketcher and an acclaimed architect from the city who was uh, kind enough to be one of the members of the jury then we have girish damne i'm not sure if girish is over here but he did promise that he would come over here is a celebrated artist and a hotelier and a healer jain joshi ji very well known artist from the uh, city he is a very senior artist sujata dharab who herself runs an art school and an eminent artist and also one of the directors of the pune biennale then bharti pitre ji who is sitting in in the first row a brilliant sculptor sculptor whose works with paper mache are something that i'm extremely fond of pini deshpande uh, designer and creative thinker so children all of you are winners because these seven people have unanimously decided that your painting is a winner a big round of applause to all my jury members okay now that was uh, that was an introduction about the activities of can i have the lights please uh, no, no sorry sorry we 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 still have some more please hold on uh, i'm going to take you uh, through a journey of all the winners and their paintings so i'm going to randomly show pictures of the paintings that were the winners have a look at them because it would be exciting for you to see others who have also done good work not just your painting you know what you have done but there are other other paintings which are equally good as yours and all of you are winners so this was group a essentially group a means like first second and third standard and the topics that were given was my father my favorite animal or a bird and the school bus so So this was a painting done by Akshayani. This was done by Anushka. You can see it's a favorite animal, beautifully described. I like the animal is in a green grass, lion. And then there is Karan who drew uh, a peacock and uh, you look at the way he's expressed uh, that there's a rainbow, a peaking sun and there is a uh, droplets of water i think for somebody who is between 5 uh, and 7 years i think it's extraordinary then uh, there was uh, a girl by the name uh, there's a girl by the name kashvi am i correct kashvi i think she really loves her father you could see that here how many uh, i mean heart symbols she drew you know it's so beautiful to see that then we have a giraffe drawn by sanika i could see some like chatter chit chatting going on i can see the children are excited to notice their paintings then this is sanjana who drew a school bus then there is a, a woodpecker drawn by sara then again my father i think this is this is brilliant this is brilliant whoever is this father has to be here <laughs> get out of your phone <laughs> but it's brilliant to see how innocently the child has expressed about her beloved father you know it's 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 like you know there is no corruption in the mind the way it is that's the way it is you know <laughs> then i think shinaz has drawn her father this was the one painting where i think my jury felt this was the only painting where a portrait was attempted at that age and i think bati don't you agree it's a brilliant idea <laughs> then we had shlok drawing his school bus beautifully and did you notice that they have put a solar panel also on the top how nice it is you know then we have uh, anna arnav drawing school bus with you know a, a city scape in the background it's nice and then did you notice those blue streaks are nothing but glass it's very difficult to draw glass but he has attempted to do uh, do the uh, painting of glass with a reflection i think that's a very commendable effort you know <laughs> then we have veer drawing uh, his father 
and you you see he's already put like you know a uh, cup on the first uh, I, i think you know the photograph doesn't show everything but it's a nice way to show the the love between the father and son and how the son is flying it's it's brilliant it's very imaginary imaginative then we have group a special kid who are also the prize winners and the special kid akshay drew an elephant so beautifully drawn with two different colors kind of st- uh, telling a story of this elephant then we have vivek who's who's drawn look at the cityscape look at the bus you know uh, so it's nice there is a background then you have a divider then you have like you know the zebra crossings the you know separators of the gradients everything is been described very beautifully here then we have B- group b prize winners uh, these are the kids who are at least 8 years and above and they are from classes 4 and 5 uh, the group b winner uh, uh, winners drew paintings using this topics of vegetable garden sports day river and mountains landscape a little higher a little tougher so you could see this is a vegetable garden drawn by ananya then you have a, a landscape a river and a landscape with the waterfalls and then a boy is trying to garden uh, p- put a garden and a flowers uh, in the in the in the banks it's be- very beautiful then we have sports day represented by arnavi you could see the level is increasing you know like this is again a landscape water uh, feature uh, which has been drawn by neeta then prem drew this night version which is also very beautiful to see uh, the full moon and there is a there is a, a waterfalls and then you know a nice serene lake being created i think prem is truly very uh, romantic person i think if he's there i can tell you that mother of prem please be careful <laughs> he is truly prem <laughs> so then you have ruan who has created with a reflection how beautiful and then did you notice the sensibilities they are already thinking about energy crisis they are in tune with the environment he drew with everything else he put a, like a, a windmill and i think that is what is something that i'm extremely happy about i think what my my generation has not been able to achieve i think the next generation is filling up those gaps and trying to make a better world for themselves savi drew a vegetable garden how detailed it is look at the expressions of the lady look at the expressions of the uh, vegetable vendors i think it's beautiful i mean at that age to draw uh with expressions you know it's it's profound then charlina drew uh, a winning expression at the school's uh, uh sports day of a girls hockey team i i think it's very nice to see girls uh, drawing and encouraging girl team you know then sharda she do uh, shraddha she, uh, she she drew a vegetable garden and uh, you can see it's like very nicely labeled also there's cabbage gobi methi you know i think these are probably her favorite vegetables and then uh, again swarup you could see he has divided the sheet into the day and the night express both the expressions i think it's very profound then devaki has drawn a beautiful almost like an oil color mature oil painting and then we have the special kits and amongst the special kids we have uh, atharva drawing extremely clean simple just direct landscape i loved it it's simple few lines but they tell a story then we have preo drawing uh, a football match at the school level then we have group c prize winners group c essentially has children from 6th and 7th standard that means we are looking at children who are in uh, 11 12 or 13 years of age group uh, their topics were republic day parade a little higher more composition more complex traffic signal area football match in a stadium then disha Dish, dishan has drawn football match in a stadium you can s- then then we have uh, jainam uh, what was the topic republic day parade 
Yeah. You can see that he's represented a, 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 a rocket over here. Again, a football match. Not, it's not moving. Why don't you move from there? Why say move, kid? Ah, and then uh, we, you know, we were debating about this particular painting. It was uh, the only painting which showed uh, a ground from the bird's eye view, and the football match was being played. I, I thought it was like excellent, excellent way to show like what uh, a human eye cannot perceive. I think Mehul did a very good job in this. Then we have uh, Brunal drawing a football match again. Then we have Ruchita also drawing the same. Then we have Samruddhi drawing a traffic signal. Shravan, a traffic signal showing all the dustbin, the chaos, everything. It's beautifully done. Shrutika drawing a Republic Day Parade all in pencil. It's very delicately done. Extremely nice with the expressions of the soldiers being different from the expressions of the audience. Very beautifully captured, Shrutika. Then we have uh, a Vaishnavi drawing uh, a lady constable. Very nice. Look at the details. I mean, like it's wonderfully done. Then we have Sonia drawing a football match. Then Shreya drawing uh, uh, a tablet of Maharashtra at the Republic Day Parade. Very nicely done. Look at the expressions of all the soldiers. Very beautifully done. I think this is Shreya, not Shreya. I'm sorry. Then we have uh, the special kids who are from this group C. Rudra drawing a traffic signal. Then Vaishnavi drawing a football match. Then the last group. The prize winners of the last group for whom the topics that were given were greenhouse food production. We wanted people to uh, think a bit about like agriculture, nature, production. So we, we kind of uh, made the topics in such a way that they had something to do with a city level as well as a, a, a nature level and a sports or a current activity. That's how we chose the topics. The greenhouse food production, Banaras Ghats, Pune Metro 2025, all quite tough topics. I would say these are more like a college level topics. So that's a Banaras Ghats by Abhishek. Look at the details. One could say that this is a painting done by a very senior artist. Then Pune Metro, we all know that the Pune is uh, being, uh, building its metro system now. One can see like, you know, how they have beautifully expressed it. I hope the metro is going to look this beautiful. Pune Metro again by Driti. Pune Metro, it looks like Pune Metro was a catch. I think it was something that everybody was like, you know, uh, excited about. Kirtanas. Then Kushal drew a Banaras Ghat. Look at the, I mean, like it's so mature in the sense like just dual tone. Then Lavanya drew a greenhouse uh, food production uh, with the greenhouses. You could see the glass and the plants inside growing up. It's all done in watercolors, which is very beautifully done. Then we have a Nidhi drawing Pune Metro. Again, sorry. Uh, again, Pune Metro with Niranjan. Looks like Pune Metro was the one that uh, they found all very interested to draw. Uh, then Sahil drawing the Banaras Ghats again. And Sarah drawing Pune Metro again. Pune Metro. But look at it. It's very simple, elegant. Just giving emphasis to the, to the movement. There is a motion in this painting. It's very beautifully done. And finally, Ritish drawing Banaras Ghats again. So detailed, you know, like, look at it. Yeah. So, Group D special kids, the prize winners are. Then, Nazia drawing Banaras Ghats, beautifully done. I mean, you could see the pigeons, you could see. I mean, like, it's, it's profound, you know. 
uh, and what was so beautiful is that you can see there is a kind of a, 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 a juxtaposition of a near image and a far image you know and then Pramod drew this greenhouse beautifully done so congratulations to all the winners let's have a big round of applause to all of you can I have the lights on and the screen going up please Akbar please uh, now now the big, big moment we are all waiting for the prize distribution ceremony all of you were excellent and you all have truly created great art but some have to win and some will not there is always a hope and we must paint not with an idea to win but to enjoy the happiness we get from painting so remember it's more important to derive happiness than to get these medals because happiness is something which will keep you going forever in life we shall announce the commendation prizes first thereafter the runner and winners of the group I request all the prize winners to share your accolades with your schools also tomorrow when you go to the school please share your prizes uh, with your school tell your art teacher I'm sure all of them have had an influence on you to become a better painter now may I request Shri Vinayak Nimanji Vinayak Nimanji to come on to the stage may I request Christopher Benninger to come on to the stage and Datuk Ramli Ibrahim to come on to the stage please all three of you please uh, after the prizes are distributed I will ask the winners uh, of the group to just stand over here for a group photograph do not take away your prize and go back children are you all understanding you, once you get your medal or your trophy please just stand there we'll call you back again so that we can have a group photograph okay okay uh, where is the okay group a standards first two three the prize list in no particular order Good. Our first prize winner is Akshayani Devkar from First Standard Podar International School. Music. Come, come. The next winner is Anushka. D. Kulkarni from Bhim Shank Bhima Shankar Vidyalaya, third standard. Please come here. The next prize winner is Karan Gohil, Symbiosis Primary School, third standard. The next prize winner is Kashwi A. Khir, Second Standard Vibyar High School. She is dressed up specially for this occasion. Huh? <laughs> the next prize winner is Sanika S. Lange from th third class Crescent High School. <laughs> Photo, please. The next prize winner is Sanjana Magar, third class Vidya Pratishthans Magarpata City Public School. Please come. Sara Kulkarni, First Standard Millennium National School is the next winner of the prize.
the next prize winner is shravani kanitka second standard from madharaus sadashiv rao golwalkar guruji vidyalaya big name <laughs> please come it looks like we have only girls coming huh are ladko ko prizes mila hi nahi lagta is bar The next prize winner is Shinaz G Mulla from 3rd class Tree House High School. The next prize winner is Shlok Vadgaonkar from p jog school third standard now friends as i mentioned to you in each category we are giving two awards to special children also the winners of group a special kids are akshay maisale from om shri sai om nivasi mati mand mulanchi shala baudan third standard can i ask somebody to accompany the child please a big round of applause It's, it takes guts to come and paint lovely to have them the next winner in the special kids category is vivek son kamble he is from the second standard hadapsar karna badir vidyalay please encourage they deserve a big round of applause now friends for the group a winners the second prize goes to arnav kothavle second standard pes modern primary english medium school big round of applause the winner of group a is veer arendra second standard vidya pratishthans magarpatta city public school so sweet of them now group b standard 4th and 5th the prize is for please settle down <clears throat> now in no particular order the first prize winner or the person who wins the prize first person to come on stage is ananya n pandit from 
केंद्रीय विद्यालय आर्मी एरिया फिफ्थ क्लास Now the next prize winner is Ankit Basak, fourth class from Delhi Public School, Group B. Please come. Yeah, the next in the line is Arnavi Jawar, fifth standard, Dr. Kalmadi Shamrao High School. Next prize winner is Neeta Chaudhary, fifth standard, Acharya Shri Vijay Vallabh School. The next prize winner is uh, Prem Gajare, Pune Public Pune Police Public School from fifth standard. The next prize winner is Savi Dhavle, 5th Standard, Seva Southern English Medium School. Ruan Silekar, Vibdior High School, 5th Standard. Charlena, are you ready? The next prize winner is Charlena Shethe from St. Helena School, 5th Prize. The next prize winner is Shraddha Kanglev, Bharti Vidya Bhet Bhavans, Paranjpe Vidya Mandir, 5th Standard. Swarup Pradhan, please be ready. Swarup, please be ready. The next prize winner is from Army Public School, Swarup Pradhan, 4th Standard. Now for the special kits of Group B, winners, special kit categories, Preo Ghosh, Army Public School, 5th Standard. Big round of applause, please. I love his suit and tie. You know? It's very beautiful. The next winner in the special kids category is Atharva Sathe, Badir Mukh Bichikshan Kendra, Bandarkar Road, 5th Standard. Now for the Group B winners, the second prize goes to Adi Nigam of Fifth Standard from Vidya Pratishthan's Magarpata City Public School. I think this child has won in the past also, I, if I remember, I think in the past award ceremonies I remember this name. Have you won in the past also? You did? Okay, congratulations. Consistence performance.
and the first prize winner Devaki Savant fifth standard from Gurukul school wins the first prize in this category Devaki Savant Can can we have a group photograph? All of you, please stand. Mrs. Savant, please stand. In the meantime, I would like to request my very good friend and one of the jury members, Bharti Pitreji, an ex excellent artist, uh, a, a sculptor who works with paper mache, to come and share her thoughts as a jury member, how the process was. and what her experience was bharti ji please come please put your hands together for bharti ji she is she was one of the judges for the competition uh, mi marathit bolte karan mala vatta saganna kalat asel marathi ite punyatle at manun uh, ram ni atishay avghad asa amchar jawabdari takli hoti ki ja mulanchi kam ami pahili tyatna kahi mula nivdaychi atishay uh, kathin uh, prakaran hot कारण सगळ्यांनी त्यांचं प्रत्येकाचं एक्सप्रेशन इतकं वेगळं होतं आणि छान होतं की इट वॉज व्हेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिअली सिलेक्ट फ्यू ड्रॉइंग्स आउट ऑफ दोज बट वी डेड दॅट अँड लकीली वॉट हॅपन्ड इज आमच्या ज्युरीमध्ये खूप वेगवेगळ्या प्रकारची लोकं होती कोणी स्कल्प्टर होतं कोणी पेंटर्स होते आर्किटेक्ट्स होते तर त्याच्यामुळे प्रत्येकाचा वेगवेगळा व्ह्यू पॉईंट मिळाला आणि त्याच्यामुळे मला असं वाटतं जजिंग जे काय आम्ही केलं तर ते फेअरच केलं असं मला वाटतंय परंतु असं समजू नका <coughs> की ज्यांना मिळालं नाही त्यांची चित्र वाईट होती असं अजिबातच नाही अँड लाईक अ व्हेरी फेमस आर्टिस्ट कॉल्ड अँटी बॉरहॉल त्यांनी असं म्हटलंय की uh, तुम्ही चित्र काढत राहा मग बाकीच्यांना ठरवून दे की हे चांगलं आहे का वाईट आहे का काय आणि हे ते ठरवेपर्यंत तुम्ही अजून काही चित्र काढा सो बेसिकली कॅरी ऑन थँक्यू व्हेरी मच थँक्स फॉर हॅपिंग नाव द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट ग्रुप ग्रुप सी विच कम्प्राइजेस ऑफ स्टँडर्ड सिक्स अँड सेवन्थ द प्राइज विनर्स फॉर ग्रुप सी इन नो पर्टिक्युलर ऑर्डर The first person to come and receive the prize is Dishan Oswal, 6th standard, the Bishop School Camp. Please welcome Dishan Oswal with a big round of applause. The next person to win the award is Jainam Dudhedia from 7th from Trinity International School 7th standard please come on the stage Next in the order is Kailash Garad 6th standard Sri Shiva Chhatrapati Prathamik Vidyalaya Please put your hands together to encourage this child Order click The next prize winner is Mehul Makwane Ale Gaonkar Madhyamik Vidyalaya 6th standard please come onto the stage The next prize winner is from St Francis De Sales School Mrunal Pawale 
सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड द नेक्स्ट प्राइज विनर इज रुचिता दलवाल ए सेवन स्टैंडर्ड फ्रॉम हजूर पागा प्राइमरी स्कूल कात्रज The next prize winner is Samruddhi Kulkarni Bharti Vidya Bhavan Paranjpe Vidya Mandir 7th standard please come on to the stage please okay next prize winner is Shravan Jagta Mastermind English Medium High School 7th standard he is going to be a fashion designer The next prize winner is Shrutika Golande Dastur Coed School 7th standard. The next prize winner is Vaishnavi Gulave SPM English Medium School 6th standard. I think the last two girls dressed for Oscar occasion. Oscar award ke liye. <laughs> Come on. The Group C winners for special kids: Vaishnavi Chavan, Hadapsar, Karna Bhadir Vidyalay, Sixth Standard. Can somebody bring the child, please? Big round of applause. Really, they need encouragement. The next child is Rudra Nalavade, Bhadir Mukh Sikshan Kendra, Bandarkar Road. and now the winners the second prize for this group the trophy goes to sonia bhade abhinav vidyalay english medium school 7th standard big round of applause so now i think the winner of the first prize first trophy I think that person knows because that's the only person who is left can come up Who's that Where is the winner he should come up on his own he or she Shriya Joshi DES secondary school 7th standard You knew you were the left over so you are the winner big round of applause she is the winner of the entire group it takes it takes some efforts to become one of the first prize winners out of 1800 entries were you also a winner previously shriya yeah how many times all the five years that's a big round of applause You see when we do the jury we change the jury entirely so can you imagine if somebody could come every year as a winner that means she is pleasing the eyes of various kind of people that's a great painter in making May I request Vinayak ji Nimant to come and say a few words about his experience and his ideas about art. Vinayak ji, please aye. Big round of applause, please. Marathi, say it. Ganpati Bappa. आदरणीय पद्मश्री सन्म्माय रामलूजी आंतरराष्ट्रीय कीर्ति आर्किटेक्ट 
सन्मानीने ख्रिस्तपर मॅनेजर ज्यांनी हा कार्यक्रम या ठिकाणी आयोजित केला ते आमचे मित्र आणि खऱ्या अर्थाने कलेचे उपासक सन्मानीय रामजी सन्मानीने राहुलजी सर्व उपस्थित विद्यार्थी बंधू भगिनींनो पालक उपस्थित मित्र हो आज या ठिकाणी या कलेचा गौरव करण्यासाठी आपण या ठिकाणी उपस्थित आहोत मी कौतुक नंतर करेन परंतु ज्यावेळेस पहिल्यांदा पहिल्या ग्रुप ए ग्रुप ज्यावेळेस आला त्या ग्रुपमध्ये पहिली ते चौथी ग्रुपमध्ये सगळ्या मुली होत्या त्याला म्हणलं मुलं कुठं गेली तर मला काय कळे ना मारामारीची स्पर्धा असती तर नक्कीच मुलं पुढं दिसली असती कारण आम्ही लहानपणापासून तेच करत आलो पण आमच्या या मारामारीच्या स्पर्धेमध्ये आम्ही पहिला क्रमांक कमवला पण कोणी बक्षिसाची किंवा कौतुकाची थाप पाठीवर दिली नाही परंतु जसे जसे क्रम वाढत गेले चौथी ते पाचवी थोडी मुलांची संख्या वाढली पाचवी ते सातवी बरीचशी मुलं त्या ठिकाणी आली या ठिकाण मला असं कळालं म्हणजे मुली जरी लहानपणी हुशार दिसत असल्या तरी मुलं आपलं हुशार पण नंतर सिद्ध करतात त्याकरता सर्व विजेत्या मुलांचं या ठिकाणी मनापासून मी आभार मानतो आपण मुलींना कॉम्पिटिशन दिली मुलींची संख्या जरी जास्त जिंकण्यामध्ये असली तर माझ्या माझ्या मनामध्ये एक शंका होती मुलं दिसतात की नाही परंतु आपण या ठिकाणी स्पर्धेमध्ये क्रमांक घेतलात आपल्या सर्व मुलांचं या ठिकाणी मनापासून कौतुक करतो आज या पुण्यातील मुलांना प्रोत्साहन देण्यासाठी आज अठराशे विद्यार्थ्यांनी या ठिकाणी सहभाग घेतला आणि आपण ज्या पद्धतीने काम करत आहेत मुलांनी प्रोत्साहित व नवीन त्यांच्या कलागुणांना वाव द्यावा याकरता रामजी राहुलजी ख्रिस्तोफरजी आपल्या सर्वांचं या ठिकाणी मी आभार मानतो आमच्या पुणेकर नागरिकांच्या वतीनं ये अपन कर काम नक्की पुण्ल विद्यार्थ्या वेगरी दिशा दे नहीं विश्वास व्यक्त करते एक मैं ये बोलवीबल आप आभार मानतो जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र नाउ मे आर रिक्वेस्ट पद्मश्री दत्तोक रामली इब्राहिम टू शेयर अ फ्यू थॉट्स फ्रॉम हिज हार्ट टूअर्ड्स आर चिल्ड्रन Shri Vinayak Nimanji, distinguished architect Christopher Benninger, Ram Prasad Akiseti, founder of India House Gallery. Thank you for the privilege of being here to share with a, an investment in the future uh, with the Earth Matters Art Competi Competition. for the youth of pune i am as you see i'm wearing this as a request uh, from ram prasad to come in the malaysian national dress i think it is important for all of us to celebrate the diversity and at the same time the positive globalization in terms of being familiar with as many diverse beauty that has been passed on through generations through the works of art through the costume through the jewelries through literature and everything else we are very lucky to have people like vinayak ji who is a politician who is also aware this connection of arts and culture ram has told me so much about what he has done for uh, pune as a city um and it's important that you have uh, both christopher and ram prasad as also the catalyst uh, who realize that arts and culture is the face of the city the body is something else but what you project outside in, in as your persona is what we are going to invest in our arts 
in our literature, in our music, in making uh, life a better place for all of us. And what better way than for us to invest in the youth who is going to be in charge of the future. Thank you. Now may I request our guest of honor, Professor Christopher Benninger to come and share a few thoughts with our audience, please. Namaskar. It's lovely to be here. I feel humbled to speak after two elegant spokesmen. I want to say something. I, I like them being here because they're my friends. I love Vinayak. He's a lovable person. He's a human being. I love Ram Lee. I've known him for years. He's a lovely person. They're friends in the audience like Barty. Her son and my son are friends. It's like a big community here. So I think it's lovely to be here. I would just uh, tell you something about my childhood. When I was a boy, I was a very bad student. I think uh, until I was in the eighth standard, I was probably at the bottom 10% of my class. But I used to find peace and solace in painting. I used to do drawings. And I think deep down I knew somehow that I wanted to be an artist or an architect or a creative person. So I worked at my painting, I worked at my, my drawings, etc. And somehow when I, my father was a well-known economist and he was asked to come and teach in another university in another city. So my father said, you know something? You're the youngest person in your class and you're the dumbest guy in your class. So when we go to the new city, you repeat that class and you'll become one of the older guys and maybe one of the smarter guys. No? So I did repeat seventh standard and later in my life, uh, I was even teaching at Harvard University. So people who fail seventh standard and who are artists can teach at Harvard. <laughs> so art, <laughs> art can be a pathway to success and happiness. Now, Group D, that's Standard 8, 9th, and 10th. The winners in no particular order. Can I? My first winner is Abhishek Sheet, Advocate Bapu Sahib Bonde High School, 10th Standard. Can I ask Aditya Pawar to be ready, please? The next prize winner is Aditya Pawar, 8th standard from Modern High School. Can I ask Driti Patil to be ready please? The next winner is Driti Patil, 9th Standard New Era High School. She's come all the way from Panchgani to receive this award. Congratulations, Driti. G. Kirtana, can you be ready, please? The next prize winner is G. Kirtana. 8th Standard Kendri Vidyalaya Range Hills Kushal Gelot, please be ready <laughs> The next prize winner is Kushal Gelot, 8th Standard Acharya Shri Vijay Vallabh School The school seems to have a good art department. I keep seeing them all the time. Lavanya Chillar, Chilara. The next prize winner is Lavanya Chilara, 8th Standard Army Public School. Can we have a good round of applause, please? As I said, medal lene ke baad aise nahi karna chahiye. Sab ke liye taali. One more round. The rest you also clap.
the next prize winner is nidhi mutha 8th standard saint anne's high school now i remember nidhi coming in the last 2 3 years also she is also multiple prize winner her father is taking on her behalf kishor mutha she has a school program today I have never been on the stage before. This is because of Nidhi. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, children make parents proud, don't they? The next prize winner is Niranjan Kale, 10th Standard Sri Shiva Chhatrapati Shivaji Raje Madhyamik Vidyalaya. The next prize winner is Sahil Lohar, 8th Standard. Gyan Prabodhini Navanagar Vidhyalaya. The next winner in this group is Sara Sheikh, 8th standard Sardar Dastur, Nosherwan Girls High School. Please put your hands together to encourage her. Sara Sheikh, 8th standard Sardar Dastur, Nosherwan Girls High School. Congratulations. As I said, all these photographs will be available in a couple of days on India House Art Gallery website ihag.in. Now, the special kids. Are we ready with the special kids? Are we ready with the special kids? Yeah. The Group D winners special kids category, the prize goes to Nazia Sheikh, 9th standard, SND, Thakarsi Kanyashala. Please welcome her. They really deserve a big round of applause. The next prize winner in the special children category is Pramod Khedkar. 10th standard Hadap Sir Karna Bhadir Vidyalaya. Now the winners. The second prize, second prize trophy goes to Shreyas. Garje 9th Standard Vishwakarma Vidyalaya Marathi Secondary School. They had very tough topics as you remember. Pune Metro, Greenhouse Effect, Traffic. And the winner. The first prize goes to Ritesh M. Gupta from 8th Standard. Sangarsh Nagar Municipal Hindi School. He's done that Banaras painting, if you remember. Am I correct? Please be seen. So friends, that's for the group D. Now we have school categories. Do we have the art teachers or the principals of the schools to come and receive these awards? The best school and the painting of the year awards. The best school, best special school for art. Remember, best Special School for Art 2019 goes to Hadap Sir Karnabhadir Vidyalaya. Somebody from the audience, teachers or parents, big round of applause. This school imparts a huge amount of emphasis on the art program in their school. Hadap Sir Karnabhadir Vidyalaya. Now the best school for art, the overall best school for art which won more prizes 
बेस्ट स्कूल फॉर आर्ट 2019 गोज टू विद्या प्रतिष्ठान बगलपट्टा सिटी पब्लिक स्कूल बिग राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज एज अ स्कूल दे हैव परफॉर्म कंसिस्टेंटली ओवर द लास्ट फाइव इयर्स एंड एज अ स्कूल दे हैव परफॉर्म टू गेन मोर प्राइजेस देन एनी अदर स्कूल विद्या प्रतिष्ठान मगरपट्टा स्कूल are we having the art teachers or the parents are you the art teachers congratulations your efforts have been recognized now the last prize painting of the year award 2019 any guesses goes to ritesh gupta 8th standard sangarsh nagar municipal high school his painting was selected as the best painting amongst all the 1800 paintings big round of applause thank you team ccba for taking care of this year's session can you imagine this was the team that has been helping me put this program together in closing i would like to again offer my warmest congratulations to all our winners of the earth matters art competition in conclusion i wish all of you to dream continue to dream bigger and bolder and live out your dreams i look forward to seeing all of you again next year along with your friends for another series of the art competition next year children and parents we shall be celebrating the 6th year and we wish to make it bigger and more beautiful and i need your help i need your help to make it more successful i request all parents and children to come again next year participate enjoy and win shubhratri good night stay blessed thank you and have a memorable evening thank you very much